If things seem to never work out for you, no matter what you do or what you try, and you are actually starting to wonder if you are a curse, well, I've been there and I experienced that. And here is how I instantly turn things around. First of all, I want you to know you are standing in the right place and on the right opportunities. You may not realize it now, but you will by the end of this video. You know, my life has seen some horrible things in my life. You know, from growing up in the streets, being a former gang member, uh, seeing all the violence, seeing all the drugs, in and out of jail, all those different things. I turned my life around when I got in church and I had a lot of dreams. I dreamed big. And for years, year in, year out, I never really saw my dreams being realized. You know, one of the things I had a passion for is I wanted to build an organization and be able to help young people and be a part of the solution of reducing gun violence in our communities. Year in, year out, I'm talking about for years and years and years, going to conferences, reading books, uh, being taught on leadership, being mentored, all these different things that I was taught and that I experienced and learned, you know, to, to better myself in order to achieve my dreams and not seeing my dream being realized. And it didn't happen until I learned these two simple things and I'm going to share them with you. The first thing I learned if you want to turn things around instantly is that you have to change your belief system. That means there are four foundational theories or pillars that guide your belief system and you must use these to change your belief system. That is credible authority. You know, like the books you read, the conferences you go to. Uh, my credible authority would really start helping me was the scriptures, right? If you, all things are possible to him that believe, right? Those different types of scriptures. If you stand on the promises of God, if you put God first, you know, he will add all these other things to you. But whatever your credible authority is, you got to have a credible authority. And through, from my childhood, from um, our parents, our teachers, our coaches, uh, many people, books we read, many people we look up to as credible authority. That's what controls your belief system. And if you want to change your belief system, you got to change that, right? You got to get the right kind of credible authority in you. And then you got to change your social environment. You got to stop getting the wrong information in you. That's repetitious information. You got to stop getting the wrong information in you and get the right information in you through repetitious information. That's why affirmations are very good. The positive yourself, talk the positive things that you say to yourself, right? You, you got to be able to understand. And then last but not least on those four foundational theories or pillars is your personal experiences, right? If I sit in this chair and this chair break, um, then I realize something's wrong with this chair. If I go into another chair and I sit on that chair, that chair break, then my personal experience starts telling me something in this room or in this house uh, these chairs, something's wrong with these chairs in this house. And next chair I sit on, I'm gonna start checking the chair to make sure that it's stable enough to hold me, right? Because of my personal experiences. Your personal experiences have the most profoundest effect on your belief system. And when you get the right things in your belief system, you'll start experiencing the right things and it'll really turn things around for you like it did for me. I changed my belief system and and I immediately started seeing things turn around for me. Now I built an organization that um, uh, has a budget of over a million dollars coming in, have uh, at least 13 to 14 employees, and God is really blessing me. And it, it all took me to change my belief system and to do this second thing, which was to act on it, right? Uh, 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 you got to go for it. For years and years and years, I sat on my dreams. I was afraid, fear, paralyzes you and keep you from stepping out to do what needs to be done, afraid of failure, using excuses, I don't have the money, I don't have the resources, I don't have the people, all these different things we worry about, right? But just go for it. When you change your belief system, you have a vision, you have a dream, you have some things you want to go for, go for it. And when you step out at the right time, the right opportunity of faith, of believing and change your belief system and believing this and doing it, you will see a miraculous change in your life and in your circumstances. Certain people will start calling you. You will start drawing and attracting things to you that will help you to reach your dream. And I'm telling you, it, it won't take hard work. It won't take a lot of pull and push. All you got to do is align yourself in the right place, right? 
and that is changing your belief system and then going for it. Stop sitting down. Stop being afraid of failure. Yes, you're going to fail sometime, but keep on pushing. Keep on going. Keep on doing what you need to do. And if you just be yourself, you'll attract the right things to you. If you go for your dreams and stand on what is in your heart, it will come to you. And I did those two things, simple things, and it changed and my life around and I'm living my dream. And I want you to live your dream also. So thank you for viewing this video and I hope I said something to be a blessing to you. God bless you.